So I'm out and about. I am starving. I'm gonna see what they have in this plaza. There's a Hobby Lobby on this side of the plaza and there's a Michaels on this side of the plaza. So I guess we'll see what ends up happening today. I need to find a better way to put this camera so it stops moving everywhere. I need to get out of this place. This is way too much. Way too much. Man, I had to get out of there. I just kept buying and buying. I mean, God, I need self-control. So Hobby Lobby's done. Um, I don't think I'm gonna go to Michael's because I did spend a lot of money in Hobby Lobby, but I'm gonna get a coffee. I need some energy boost to continue on with my day. So. Let's go. It's starting to rain a little bit, but we'll see. This one is the Nitro Cold Brew uh, with sweet cream, and I also asked for a little bit of sugar because the coffee's a little bitter. Um, and I really enjoy this one. I think this has become like my new ultimate Starbucks drink. <laughs> see what I can find over here not gonna lie it's really hard moving out and starting from scratch because it's not like you could find everything you need in one store I mean I've been to uh, what is it Marshall's TJ Maxx Burlington Home Goods and I'm still not even halfway done with the rest of the house but at least my desk is ready okay see you guys bye
I didn't find anything at Michael's. I think because I went to Hobby Lobby, I was able to get everything that I wanted, but it's okay. I've already spent a lot of money, so I can't spend any more. So good thing I did not find anything at Michael's. Okay, time to go home. Let's go home. So I bought some basil. Hopefully now that I have a little patio, I could actually grow some herbs out in the back. So I guess we will see, little buddy. I hope I, I keep it alive. If it works out, then I'm gonna get cilantro next because I use a lot of cilantro when I cook. Okay, now let's go home. It's been a long day out in the road and I got a lot of things to do at home. Okay, see you later. So a little mini haul. Um, here's a couple things that I bought at uh, Hobby Lobby. I have this. It's a tissue paper. Look how cute it is. With little cactuses. How cute. And then I bought a new pack of stickers for my personal use. I love these. I tend to like the ones that are um, in the clear see-through, the clear sticker paper. But this one was holiday theme and being that I don't have too many stickers right now, it was nice because it covered all the holidays just for me to start out with. Super cute, especially now for Christmas. Then I bought these little guys. Uh, these are gonna be for um, the cactus that I have on the wall, the wire cactus I have on the wall. I'm gonna use these as clothespins to hold uh, papers and pictures on it. I'll show you guys that one in a little bit. And then I bought these three washi tapes. Oh my God, super cute. So let's start out with this one. This one is a little Cactus themed with some gold. This one is, uh, let's see if it, this one is with some bees. And then this one, some cute little eyelashes and bows. Super, super cute. I'm really obsessed with washi tape right now. So I bought a little box that holds washi tape and it's not even a quarter way full. So now I'm just buying a whole bunch of washi tape. <laughs> and then I found these little see-through bags. They're meant for jewelry, but they came in different sizes and it does have the adhesive up here. So I just wanted to see if um, this was a, a good option. The only thing is I wouldn't I wouldn't want to buy it from Hobby Lobby because I would buy a decent amount. I would want it more for stickers, but just to check out different sizes that I could start ordering from because it brought uh, three different types of sizes, right? Three. So I guess we'll see. Here's my little Hobby Lobby haul. We'll start left to right, but right here we have my little cactus friends. Little cuties. I have a squeeze bottle there to give them their water. And then over here we have my Canon printer and my Epson Eco Tank. Um, C 
sticker paper, my mailers, some extra ink, my washi tape collection, and some plain white paper. Then up here I have um, a little practice that I now will be hanging some pictures and little things on there. And my banner. Little, my little air wick. Pen holder with some cactus pens, a oh, scissor. Uh, here I keep some of my personal stickers. My two external drives, some tape, stapler, another cactus deco so I could put some papers in there. Up here I have this little cactus painting. I found that, I think I wanna say I found it at, at Ross. Super cute. It's the centerpiece of the wall. My MacBook Pro, my ruler, my Cricut machine. Another cactus painting and then my tack board I have here. I ordered from Catnip some stickers and this is her little I think thank you card in the back. Then Google AdWords send me my address confirmation. And then here I have a laminator, some shelving for when all the stickers come up. My Cricut rolls of um, vinyl and iron-on, some cardstock paper, and another wrap for paper over here. So it's nothing's full yet because I still haven't started really production, but soon enough it will be. Down here I put some of my shelvings. All this here, all this here and here is craft related things but they're not for the sticker shop uh this container here is going to be for all the stickers stored and then i got this table at ikea the alexa drawer with, with the alexa drawer and then i have a couple things already in here tape scissors exacto knives cutters um, Markers, color pencils, um, stamp. I'm making my own stamps. Haven't made one in a while. And then these are just containers for for the future. And then I think this one's empty. So that's it. That's my new setup. I hope you guys like it. I'm in love with it. It looks so pretty. Super pretty. Hey guys, well, I hope you've enjoyed this vlog. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you want to know when I post my next video, hit the little bell so you can get a notification once it's uploaded. Please, if you have any questions or any advice, comment down below. And if you've made it this far down the video, put a little money flying away emoji to represent all the money that I've spent today. Okay, see you later. Bye. Oh,